What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter, and as of today, I have officially been on YouTube for five years. That's right, for five years, I have been shooting content, and editing it, and publishing it, and posting it, and writing descriptions, and interacting with you in the comments. I've been doing that for five years. That's a long time to do something, and so I just thought it'd be fun to take this opportunity, say thank you, and share a few things that I've learned along the way, and talk about YouTube as a creative. All right, first up, let's talk about the subscribers. Subscribers are just a number, but it is something to celebrate about. It's a metric and I get excited about it. And it was just at the end of 2021 that I hit 200,000 subscribers, which is a really, really big deal. In the first year of YouTube, it took me an entire year to go from zero to a thousand. I think in the second year, I went from like 1,000 to 10,000. Year three, I went from 10 to 70. And from year four, I went from 70 to like 120. And then in year five, I went from 120 all the way up to 200,000 subscribers. That's huge. I have one of those fancy schmancy plaques uh, on my wall right now for 100,000 subscribers subscribers and the next mile marker is a million. I'm coming. One million. We're going to get there eventually. For those of you that don't know, maybe you're new to the channel. I started this channel five years ago really as a challenge to myself in consistency as well as a desire to put something out of value into the creative community. And so I'm a really inconsistent person by nature and I wanted something that would require me to show up every week for and do. Creating YouTube videos was that thing for me. And so I started five years ago. I've failed at times in that consistency. I've sometimes I've posted multiple times a week, two or three times a week. Other times I've gone a week or two without posting. Sometimes I even take vacations because I feel like that's what's necessary and healthy for me. I have struggled all along the way to find a consistent rhythm, but therein lies the blessing and the benefit, right? Is the challenge is in itself the benefit. It is constantly challenging me and it's a, a sort of conviction, a drive, a motivation to do better. And I have some sort of metric of consistency. And so that works for me. And along the way, I think, I hope I've helped as many people out there as I possibly can to learn about new tools and to grow in your skill sets and to have the confidence and energy and excitement to jump into this creative industry. I've had countless amounts of people write to me and tell me that they have landed new jobs, they learned the tool that they needed to, that they felt imposter syndrome, and that they have been helped in conquering it through some of the videos on my channel. That's huge to me. And so I just wanna say thank you to every single one of those subscribers. Just because there's 200,000 doesn't mean that I'm not thankful for every single individual one, so I am, so I wanna say thank you. Okay, next up is videos. I have put out a total of 377 produced, edited, and published videos. That's not counting live streams, just 377 videos. I think I'm gonna have to start going back and watching a few of the initial videos that I did because they are cringe worthy. I didn't know how to talk to the camera. I didn't know my voice. I didn't know anything. I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know anything about lighting and audio, all that stuff. I had to learn that along the way. So they are a little bit a lot of it cringy, but I had to put out a solid 20, 30, or 40 bad videos before I started making some kind of decent videos um, and learning those techniques along the way. But 377 videos, that's a lot of content. I hope to continue on that pace. I can't do the math really well, but that means that I put out somewhere about 70 or 80 videos per year. I'd like to be a little bit more consistently like a two video a week kind of person if I could. So that's a thing that I'd like to shoot for, but I would like to shoot for continued consistency and increase in quantity of content. I'd love to shoot for that. Okay, next up, I've done a total of 51 live streams so far and more than 50% of those were last year. I really started live streaming a lot more last year in 2021. I dabbled with it in 2020 and then I went full full bore in 2021. I did a lot of uh, those live streams on Friday. So I do like a Friday live stream, sometimes a Thursday night kind of chill vibe live stream. I love live streaming. It's actually one of my favorite things because I get to interact with people and just kind of work on things. Whether I'm just searching for inspiration or doing a project or doing a whole series that I did recently on building a landscape 
landing page in Figma from start to finish, like the whole design process. I love that because there's interaction as a part of it. It's just kind of baked in. And I just think it's so much fun. So I'm gonna keep live streaming. I'm probably gonna increase the amount of live streaming that I do. As far as YouTube and metrics and algorithms and what does it do for me, I don't really know and I don't really care. I just have fun doing it. So I'm probably just gonna keep doing it and increase the amount. So I'd love to be like a two videos published and one live stream every single week at the very least. That would be kind of the goal. So stay tuned to see if I can hit that mark, which I probably will not, but it's good to have a mark and fall short. Okay, next up, let's talk about sponsors. I've had a slew of sponsors over the five years and I have made one mistake in my YouTube career in the last five years of taking on a sponsor because I thought that's what I was supposed to do. I think it was one of my first sponsors. I won't say who, but I didn't wholeheartedly believe in that product, but I just thought that's what you're supposed to do, right? Take on sponsors. So I realized very quickly, oh, I don't like that feeling. That's not what I want my channel to be about. I only want to promote things or have sponsors that I'm already using or truly believe in. And so I've held firm to that. Besides that one mistake, I've held firm to that for five years. Uh, so if you see me talk about a product or say this video is sponsored by, it's because I use it in my everyday life or I love it or I think it'd be super valuable. And I've had some great ones. <laughs> I've worked with some really big brands. I've made series for them. Uh, some, sometimes they just sponsor individual videos. Some of them sponsor other things as well. It's just this cool added benefit that I get to partner with great brands, great companies that I truly love and then present them to you with like a genuine authentic love of those things, those products. So I'm most likely gonna continue to have sponsors and do brand deals with my channel, but you can be 100% confident that I love them and I think you will love them too. I'll never do you wrong, I promise that. Okay, next up in the journey, let's talk about just the work that it takes. So for the first four years, pretty much, I did everything myself. I shot and researched and edited and published. I did everything. Um, I answered every single comment with these fingers or with these, these thumbs. It is a lot of work. YouTube is a very time intensive side hustle or hobby. It requires a lot of effort. So in this last year, I was actually able to hire some help to continue to grow the channel. So I hired a video editor. I have somebody who does some kind of administrative work for me that onboards any sponsors or clients and helps me to publish things. And I had to basically give up answering the majority of the comments. I might answer a couple of them here or there, but the comments just got out of control. So I can't answer those anymore. And I don't want other people to answer my comments because I feel like that's not genuine. So I kind of just had to give up on it and hit a couple whenever I can. But I used to be really detailed about that, but I can't anymore. But I was able to bring people on and that's exciting because that allows me to do what I love to do and then have people help me and support that passion to create content for you. So I'm really excited about that. I would hope to bring on some more people that could help me or increase the volume of what these people are doing because all that's gonna do is help out the channel and help out people who watch the channel and get value from the channel. So hiring people, that's a thing that happened recently. Okay, let's talk about a few things that I have learned over the last five years when it comes to YouTube. These apply to probably any side hustle or hobby that you are participating in, but for me, they apply to YouTube directly. Quantity is important. A lot of times you'll hear people talk about, it's all about quantity or it's all about quality. Actually, both of them are important. They have to be valuable videos, valuable content, but you also should not sacrifice quantity for quality. I've done that at times. I've, you know, I've shot and then just thrown everything in the garbage, thrown it all in the recycling bin and said, I didn't like that video. I'm gonna record something else or try it again. Sometimes you gotta just remember that quantity is important if you wanna get people to stay and watch your channel. It's also important for yourself, right? Just to stay interested. You can't take weeks off. You can't be kind of flimsy or, or flaky about the whole thing. You gotta stay committed. And so my commitment has been reset to kind of like up the quantity and stay consistent in that quantity. The next thing that I've learned is more consistency. We talked about that. But the last thing that I've learned is that I love making YouTube videos and I don't wanna stop making YouTube videos. And so anything that gets in my way as far as extracurriculars, I have to make sure that this is a priority because at the end of the day, I really love it. It's not some sort of business. It's not just a, a side hustle or, or some sort of empire to be built. It's a fun thing that I love to do. And I don't want anything to wreck that fun thing and I don't want anything to get in the way of that fun thing. So um, I've learned that I love it and I'm gonna be here for another five years, at least, definitely. So uh, you're not getting rid of me. 
YouTube. I'll be around. Okay, I've been on YouTube for five years and I couldn't have done it without setting goals for myself each year. And so this is kind of turning the corner now from five years on YouTube to what's in store for the channel. And I have some goals and I have some things that I'm creating and some things I'm excited about. My big goal for 2022, it is audacious, it is insane. I wanna go from where I'm currently at at around 200,000 subscribers and by the end of 2022, I wanna be at 500,000 subscribers. It's the biggest leap that I've ever made. It would be insane if I could accomplish it. And I know to do that, I'm gonna have to increase quality, increase quantity, bring more people on to help and ask for your help to subscribe and spread the message to help me in this goal. Because the more subscribers I have, that means the more people I'm helping and the more excited and motivated I am to do that. So that's my big goal for 2022. Along with that big 500,000 subscriber goal, I also wanna cultivate things that are intimate and fun and friendly and exciting. And so I've created a members club that I'm gonna be pouring a lot of my time into as well and just cultivating those people, those members, my design champions and my supporters. And so if you're not aware of that, jump into uh, the description, get the link and you could become one of my members where I'm gonna start engaging even more design challenges and design resources and live video hangouts and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about that because as I get bigger on the channel, I don't wanna become really distant um, and abstracted away from my audience. And so me creating this community, this design community, allows me to stay more engaged, kind of eye to eye with people and connect with people. So that's a big goal for me as well, is to engage there and to cultivate that group. And then lastly, it's just to have fun. I wanna have fun this year. I wanna have fun for the next five years of YouTube. I don't wanna let anything ruin it, right? So I don't wanna get so gung-ho about goals or growth that I let that drain me of the excitement and the joy that I have in doing YouTube, which is something that I've done now for five years. And so I wanna say thank you to anybody that's watched videos, a single video, maybe you've been around for all five years. I highly doubt it, because that first year was brutal, the videos that I made. But if you've stayed around for any stretch of time, I'm so thankful uh, that you're part of my audience, that you're part of my crew, you're part of my community, and I just can't thank you enough for being with me for this last five years. So uh, we'll see you in the next one.